Today is the Sabbath, the original day of rest from the Garden of Eden. No, it didn't start with the commandments on Mount Sinai. If you read in the book of Genesis, the seventh day was set apart as something special. And this is in Judaism and Christianity. And it's also in Islam because in the Quran it says that the seventh day the Almighty ascended his throne. He stopped creating. He finished creating. Anyway, so it's supposed to be a day of study. I study every day and also today on the Sabbath. But I take notes during the week of my morning studies. studies and on the Sabbath I read over them because I don't want to forget them and repetition is part of learning so two things I was studying this week which came about with my studies of the 613 commandments which were organized from the Bible by Maimonides anyway one of them was don't give an opportunity to sin to someone who someone who has let passion rule his life and so so easily does wrong things hurts himself and others so if this person um, treats you bad um, let him be love him from a distance because if you're going to keep trying to reason with them and be a good influence on them you're just giving them another opportunity to treat you bad so you're not helping them wait let them come to you it doesn't matter how long it takes they're going through something they need to go through maybe you know they have to get so bad and so low and people get so tired of it that they stay away from them and then this person will, will realize something and they'll come to you so let them let them go through you know all these stages uh, because it seems that we have to hit rock bottom so to speak in order to realize things another thing I was studying this week was that we shouldn't rebel against suffering because there's some good element in all suffering um, if only expiation you know we, we've done things wrong and we need time to think and be by ourselves and you know people that we might have a grudge against you know think think about them deeply in your mind what they might have gone through in their life that makes them the way they are <laughs> Because um, I was reading in this, this book that uh, overlooking someone's sins, forgiving them, even though they haven't repented, they haven't said they're sorry, is, is something so noble. It's according to the standard of saints. Now in Judaism, the word saints, it means something like, you know, the righteous, you know, those who, who act in a noble way those who are devout anyway that's that's a something I wanted to share with my studies and um, until the next video